And yes, they even come to these sites to apply for rehab. Remember that. And watch how she just said that comment. Watch this guy from the media. He completely, calmly destroys her point. I mean, to be, to, to be, to be Listen, fair, you, you've been speaking for an hour, right? So it's not a distraction. It's a question from a we're journalist. We're just here to talk about safe consumption. Sites. Right. But we're, we're, we're just we're asking. No, yeah, we're so up. you guys are shutting it down when we have a question to ask. Shutting about it down. Different. Injection sites. They don't work. And this group, they're at fear because Doug Ford is going to take their jobs away. He's going to shut some down. So they hold a meeting that nobody watched. 750 people watch this meeting online. I watched all 48 minutes of it because I'm a psycho. They talk for an hour about how great injection sites are for people. And then they accidentally tell you the truth. They can't believe Ford is about to just shut down these injection sites that save lives, right? One person dies every two and a half hours from the toxic drug supply in Ontario. Since Ford took, took office, 21,000 people have died. We went from two people dying a day to nine. Well, you're not doing a very good job. Archaic drug laws and enforcement have only contributed to the ever-rising drug supply, toxic drug supply. The errors of Just Say No have made the toxic supply in North America out of control. Can't say Just Say No anymore, guys. Okay? Users are winners. Just say yes. They keep people sick. That's what they do. This group of people, they keep people sick. One of the comprehensive responses to the drug death crisis have been supervised consumption services. We need to expand them, we need to fund them, and we need to expand them to include inhalation. We need 10,000 of them. 10,000 Band-Aids to keep everybody high. More detoxes does not solve a toxic drug death crisis. You oh. cannot treat your way out of it. You can't treat your way out of it, guys. She said it. Wow. We don't focus on treatment. They're not focusing on treatment, even though they're calling it treatment. It gets better. And it really does prove what Pierre Poliev has been saying this entire time. Put more money into recovery and detox. As a neighbor so and as a benefits. worker, I have witnessed the haven that these spaces are for people. People come here for food, for bathrooms, because has anyone tried to get into a public bathroom lately? Well, yeah, I was in Duncan. Pulled over to a gas station, Chevron. I opened up the door and peed. They come here when they get good news and bad news. They host birthday parties, memorials, parties. healing circles. Staff here go support women who are so much having fun. babies. Oh, they're having babies. And yes, they even come to these sites to apply for rehab. Remember that. And watch how she just said that comment. Like a liar. And yes, they even come to these sites to apply for rehab. Isn't that what we all thought they were doing? Do they really? Are you sure about that? You're going to find this interesting. Watch this guy from the media. He completely, calmly destroys her point. Jack Howen with the Trillium. Um, Jack. Hi, Zoe. Uh, Zoe and I have talked about this, but I'm wondering if um, anyone else would like to chat about um, the process of getting someone into treatment right now, what that looks like and, and how difficult it is. Who wants to answer it? Um, Just if you can go to the mic. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. The process of getting somebody into treatment. The truth. Sorry, take your time also. Oh, get it together. Don't be sorry, we understand. <laughs> take your time. Take your time, hurry up. This is going on forever. 48 minutes. Um, yeah, so the process of trying to get into rehab right now. Um, What's the process? Is, so the first step is usually around detoxing, and I don't know if anyone's tried to get a detox bed in the city lately. <laughs> Nearly impossible. Impossible. Um, mostly impossible. Very impossible. Uh, the last person that I supported trying to get into treatment. That's why Pierre Poliev wants to put money into it. Uh, the last person that I supported trying to get into treatment. In um, we had to uh, fill out an application, so the person had to be in a decent headspace to fill out pages and pages of. Can't expect somebody high out of their tree to fill out pages and pages um there's also stipulations um in different sites in terms of okay you can't smoke and i don't know what people are supposed you can't to do. be in a garbage can i'll be honest i haven't worked with anybody um that has actually been able to to get into a rehab center their first try she's never worked with anybody that got into it on her their second try trust me they're not treating they're not helping and then little mama gets up and says this 
getting into detox. Uh, also, detoxing, the idea of detoxing, it can be a risk for someone uh, with the toxic drug supply as it's it is. It's a risk for a drug um, so addict. So people coming out of detox are at higher risk of dying. Dying, yeah. Um, and so just stay high, okay? Don't detox. <laughs> These people are making money off the sick. These people detox and they get fixed. They don't have jobs. Poliev was right. Injection sites are a joke. This is where it gets entertaining. Can I ask, so, I mean, sure. the, the, the premier obviously views this as a question of enabling versus helping. So if, if somebody comes to um, a safe consumption site, How are you helping? Uh, what percentage of, of people who are there are directed towards some kind of a treatment or treatment? recovery program? A consumption service is already a treatment program. It's already a treatment program, guys. Like, if you think about all the help that you get within it, you can't access... Bank accounts. Are you signing them up for bank accounts at Royal Bank? Get them a bank account. They're no money. Right. What, what, what I'm asking is, yeah. I mean, the family member of anyone who has is addicted to any substance, whether yeah. it's alcohol or drugs or whatnot, I mean, their ultimate again. hope is that the person will no longer be addicted to that substance and, and will be able to live, uh, you know, the best life that they right. that, that, that they can. So if, if, somebody, if somebody comes to um, a consumption site currently, yeah. how much of a focus is there on helping them to get to that place that their family members might want them to get to? Yeah. Um, family we members. don't know what their family members might want them oh, to get to. <laughs> This is supposed to be an intelligent human being. Laughs her way out of it. He asked a good question. What are you doing? To wait, what do you mean? You don't know what your their their family members might want them to get to. Um, we don't know what their family members might want them to Stupid, get to. Stupid, you <laughs> idiot. I mean, I mean, Moron. I mean, clearly you I mean, guys I think are in the business of, of well, hang on, yeah, right in the face. in the business of helping them yeah. towards recovery and not just necessarily helping with. Doing um, drugs, you know, uh, facilitating the actual act of of, of uh, yeah, ingesting good question. whatever substance, right? Right. right? So I, right? what I'm asking is, how much of a focus is there in the supervised consumption sites currently to get them there to isn't. the place where yeah, I think, we would all like yeah, to? She's I having trouble. Jess should answer this, but I just want to mm -hmm. say I think Jess should answer this. You know the answer is zero, lady. You're not helping. You're not treating. This is supposed to be a a, a very intelligent woman. She's a scholar, she's a master, she's an expert. I'm a community scholar. <clears throat> I've worked in harm reduction, uh, working with people who use drugs for over 20 years. I'm an expert, um, having done my master's degree. I think Jess should answer this, but I just wanna mm -hmm. say, imagine we put the same lens on alcohol. Well, that'd be dumb. Imagine we talked about alcohol in the same way. Your family member doesn't want you to use alcohol anymore. Okay, let's all close bars then. She just told you that injection sites are nightclubs. Injection sites are bars. We put the same lens on alcohol as we did illicit drugs. We would be having different conversations. This idea that you will just stop, like what person in a family has someone who's using, who's dependent on alcohol just stops overnight and is always being pushed to recovery. No, we've got bars down the street for them to go and consume safely. She's comparing drugs to alcohol. And aren't we lucky, us alcohol users, that we have the bars? that we get to go to so we could drink safely? We've got bars down the street for them to go and consume safely. Hey babe, you wanna have some drinks tonight? We better go down to the bar and do it safely. Call a cab, let's go to Wasted Grain tonight. Tampon Tammy will look after us. We spend many minutes of every day on the phones with people supporting them to make many those minutes. connections. And also many, many minutes a day, uh, many minutes. we have phone numbers. Oh, your mom called. Here's the message. Oh, okay. Let's call her wow. back. Wow. Oh, wow. Let's make sure she sees you in the oh, newspaper. Oh, you're such a for the huge help and for them. That you're, Mommy that you called. Deserve. Here, call her back. We're, we're. That's what they do. There are, I think, two of you who spoke who are with QP. Uh, oh, they don't like locals, this. Have your locals decided anything on Fred Hahn? Uh, is this being talked about? Um, and I would just say that... Uh, we're also here to talk about uh, safe consumption sites. I think any questions around what's happening time. at QP Ontario should probably be directed to the national officers That's and QP Ontario. I think this is a, a distraction from what we're here to talk about. I mean, to be to, to be to be Listen. fair, you, you've been speaking for an hour, right? So it's not a distraction. It's a question from a we're journalist. We're just here to talk about 
safe consumption sites. Right, but Thank we're, we're just we're asking. No, yeah, we're wrapping So up. you guys are shutting it down when we have a question to ask about Shutting it down. Different. Just but wanted to get this. Sites, yeah. we're happy to right, answer. But we're also asking about your role in QP and how you feel about the leadership of QP. You can communicate yeah. with the local, and we're happy to talk to you about that. Thank you very much. Something Good wrong night. with the group. There's something wrong with all of them. All of them. <laughs> like something like childish. Look, <laughs> we're going to wrap it up soon. Okay? Yeah. You know what? I just realized I'm going to end up, I'm going to end all my, all my videos this way now. This just popped up by accident. Somebody said she's a good roller skater. That's what I heard, which is well, crazy. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, we're going to wrap it up soon. Okay. Yeah, is that what please. you're saying? Okay, done. Sorry. 